Hello, everybody. Happy Thursday. I remember what day today was. Oh, great. My battery is low. What the heck? Hold on. Let me get my plug in. You're just tuning in. Say hi. If you're just tuning in, say hello. Can you see it? Okay. There we go. Hopefully I can see comments. Somebody say something so I can see if we are good to go. All right. Hopefully you can't see my cord there. Hello, hello everyone. So we are going to be painting a chalk couture surface frame. And, and then we're gonna add this cute little home sweet home transfer onto it. So, okay. commenting as my sister to see if I can see comments. I can't. Okay, we're just gonna go with it. All right. So, what I did was so this is our um, gold round frame. It's got a white boutique surface. But a lot of people aren't really into gold. So what you can do is you can paint it. So I just took little pieces of painter's tape. I put it around the edges and then I took an X-Acto knife and then I just cut around and it's not perfect, but that's okay. We'll make it as, as best as we can. Um, and then, so I'm just gonna sand it a little bit. The cord is still gonna be gold for now. That you would need to, you need to spray paint that probably, or you can take it off. These are just eyelet screws. So I'm gonna leave that for now but you could easily um, just use spray paint. The Rust-Oleum makes a great spray paint for that kind of thing. So I'm just gonna kind of rough up the edges first. I've never done this before, so we're gonna exper whoops, experiment together. This way the paint will adhere a little bit better. it's not so smooth hopefully there we go wipe off all the dust and crap if you're just tuning in say hi good morning good morning everyone if you would hit that little s-h-a-r-e button and sprinkle this video all your friends, groups, pages, wherever. We would really appreciate it. I do get comments a lot that um, people don't necessarily like the gold frame, but the surface is great. So we just gotta change it. Now I gotta get my paint open. I'm using resin paint, rethunk junk paint. You could probably just use regular chalk paint, acrylic paint. This is a little bit thicker, so which is why I'm gonna use it today. All right, so I'm gonna start on the top. And this is probably gonna take a couple coats, I'm thinking. If I hold it like a pizza pan, there we go. Hope you guys can hear me okay. If you wanted, you could probably leave the inside. The inside is more, it's not as shiny. So it's not quite as gold looking. It doesn't stand out quite as bad. And then I'm 
gonna try and blow dry this. I don't know, I hope it doesn't take too long to dry. Maybe I should have done one coat before I came on here. Oops, sorry, that's really close to the camera. taking these little eyelets out. There we go. We'll just take them out and we can always put them back in. Oop, now I got paint all over my hands. Good morning, good morning. Well, I guess good afternoon almost, everyone. If you're just tuning in, say hi. We are repainting a Chalk Couture gold frame surface. There we go, that's easier. You could totally turn this into like a coffee table tray. That would be really cute. Okay, let me blow dry this really quick and see if we can get another coat on it. Is this on? Is my green All right, here we go. dry pretty quickly. Perfect. I think just two coats is going to cover it. Might do a little third coat. We'll see. I'm not going to do another coat on the inside. It really doesn't need it. It's kind of hurting my wrist a little bit, though. Yeah, we're going to need a little third coat, I think. All right, let's try this one. One last little coat. I did miss a spot on the inside. There we go. My 
actually going to do the sides first. And then we'll do our transfer. Um, if you're not in my VIP group, comment VIP and I will send you the link. We've got another bundle that I'm going to be putting up as soon as I'm done here. So if you're interested in giveaways, bundle deals, sales, anything like that, head on over there. I'm not going to put the eyelets back in yet, but I want to make sure that I do this correctly so that it is straight when I do go put them back in there. If you're just tuning in, say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. just scratch that off. Can you hear me a Q-tip over there? Thank you. I'm just going to wet a Q-tip and see if we can... Once it's dry, I'll go back in and just kind of scrape off any extras that is still in there. This paint is a very interesting smell. I used, if you're just tuning in, I used Rethunk Junk Resin Paint. I needed about two, two and a half totally dry, I'll go back in and just scrape that off with my knife. Oh, excuse my fingernail. That actually works really good, too. All right. We'll call that good. So now, let's get our transfer in here. So this transfer works perfect because it is round, obviously. And it fits this size perfectly. So this is still a little wet. Hold on. There we go. I don't want 
my transfer getting stuck to that. Brand new, so I'm gonna fuzz it up a little first. center. No, it looks close enough. Mm, might be a little off side to side, but not bad. I'm going to use green and black. Love this. This is a really old green. Might Let's see if we can get this stirred back up. Oh, maybe not. Dang it. Here, we'll put some water in there. We'll let it sit for a while. Pick a different green. We'll do a little eucalyptus. All right, and I'm going to do that around the outside, and then I'll do home sweet home in black. Or should I do grayish? I'll do grayish. I think that'll show up. My grayish is kind of chunky though, too. Peel this up right away. We're not going to let it sit. It's got to be quick. We also, if you're just tuning in, we also have, uh, my team has a join incentive for June. So if you join in June and then reach your first small volume goal, by the end of June, we have a little gift package. So if you're interested in that, just comment below or shoot me a message and I'd love to chat about it with you. Here we go. Touch up. There we go. Isn't that cute? What do you guys think? Gotta be careful. So it's still a little bit wet. You could easily you could put this on a little easel. Oops, now the paint's 
stuck to the back. There we go. Put this on a little easel. You can attach, so you could spray paint the little gold chain that comes on it and reattach it with the little eyelets. You could, if you wanted to seal this, seal it with a matte sealer spray and turn it into a charger or some sort of like tray. We have a larger, we actually have an 18 inch one of these that would be really good for that. Turn it into like a, um, like a coffee table tray or a centerpiece or something like that. I love it, so cute. I like the colors too, awesome. So there you have it, how you can turn a frame color you don't like into something else, pretty simple easy peasy. So thank you guys for tuning in and I will see you next time. Bye.